Hi everyone, um, I can see that people have jumped on. I can't see any comments yet. I don't know if there is a delay in comments or if anyone is commenting. If you are, just to let you know that I can't see any comments. Um, firstly, again, I want to thank you all for jumping on. I want to thank you for sharing like you have done over the last two and a half years with me. Because if it wasn't for you sharing my videos, many people at home and who live far across this nation would not even know about our boy's case. I still meet people now on the streets that still think our boys were at a bus stop. Mainly these people are people who don't have social media. So again, I want to thank you all for what you've done for me and the boys over the last two and a half years by sharing our stuff. The main reason for me coming on, I actually don't have a lot of uh, battery left on my phone, um, so I'm going to quickly say what I've got to say, is tomorrow there is a protest at Trafalgar Square. The protest has nothing to do with me. And the reason why I'm saying that is I've been getting messages, I've had about five now, the first one, um, it was sent on Friday, but only received it, uh, not last night, I think it was the night before, um, from someone who is credible telling me that um, it's been going around that this protest is to do with me and that the BBC are all over it. Um, so I wanted to point out that this protest has nothing to do with me. I can't understand why... Uh, people are whispering in the background to say that this protest is to do with me. So I can only take it there's a reason for that. Um, I don't know if it's a setup. Um, I don't know if it isn't. I don't know who's hosting it. Um, I don't know who's put the messages out uh, for this protest. I have been sent pictures of the admins from the group it came from. I don't recognise anyone in that group but that doesn't mean they're not legit people but if anyone was thinking of going tomorrow thinking this protest was something to do with me please know it is nothing to do with me um, and I certainly personally you know wouldn't be at tomorrow's protest because again we know what Black Lives Matter are we know they're Marxist controlled we know they don't give a damn um, about black people um, they are just using that movement to do what they're doing. Now, you've seen over the last week a lot of um, people, including the BBC, backtrack, um, take off the badges they were wearing and backtracking on uh, the support that they've been giving Black Lives Matter. And they've been doing that not because they realise um, what they're about. It's because they know we know what they're about. We know they're Marxist run. And that's the reason why they're backtracking. Now, as you know, I'll just quickly say, again, because of my battery, that you know there's a second phase of COVID. We knew this was coming and that they would localise um, certain areas um, for their next phase two. It's going to get worse in winter. That's what they're going to do. Um, I said to you before, do what you feel is best to do for your family in what you believe to be true. Um, my own belief is the only contagious thing about this is fear. So do not fear. That is the only contagious thing. Um, I'm, you know, I know people have uh, sadly passed away um, from what the government and the um, doctors have written COVID on their certificates. Um, and, and, and that's sad. But what's more sad about it is the fact that these families have only allowed to have 10 to 12 people at the funerals because they have believed what the government has said. The government have never had our well-being um, at heart whatsoever. We live in a cruel um, and greedy legal realm of what they've created. I've learned a lot over the last two and a half years and I've stuck here because they've put so much stuff out there to divert you from what is really going on. We've had Black Lives Matter, we've had stabbings, we've had, what else have we had? 
we've had uh, protests, stabbings, we've even got a new king. I've seen comments and videos um, that there is a new king. These are all psyops, diversions to distract you from what really is going on in the country. Prices are going up. We're, over 12,000 jobs have gone already and more's going to come. You have to keep an eye on what's going on here within the government. Um, watch what they're saying if they are in Parliament. You've got the new Attorney General stating that we have too many rights. All these things are going on and people won't see what is going on when they're watching on the internet this video, that video. This person is speaking out. That person is speaking out. You're getting dragged this way. You're getting dragged that way. You've got to stay here and learn their realm. I said a while back when I'd done a, done a video when we was all on lockdown and lockdown was really house arrest because if you went out, apart from doing an exercise, um, the police would fine you. Now, remember, we are governed by consent and the police know this. Consent. And if you don't consent, they have no authority over you. But as soon as you give them then your name and address, you are back in contract with them. This is what this legal realm is all about. It's all about contracts and agreements and presumptions and assumptions. You know, the solutions to this, like I said before, when we was all locked down, if everybody had got up, come out of their house, opened up their small business, went back to work and ignored the government, there would have been nothing they could do because you need to do this en masse. There would have been nothing. So you either live outside the system, which you can do, or you learn their legal system and learn how they work and use how they work against them to safeguard you and your family. Because everyone who's complying without them even realising is aiding to the demise of our society. They want to take your individualism away and control you. This is all about control, a global reset, and we're going to have a massive, massive depression if you can get a cheap i have a cheap um bread maker trying to get flour in tesco's or sainsbury's i went to sainsbury's the other day i don't really shop in there but i went there to see if i can get loads of flour you know it's all being sold out because people know what's coming you know get loads of tins of food as drastic as it sounds what i'm saying unfortunately unfortunately I know what we live in. I didn't before, but I do now. I do now. You know, going out on the streets and, and people knowing what's happened to the children in this country and, you know, everyone in the whole country when something happens to a child should be standing up and they don't because many has lost their compassion but everyone, everyone has the capacity for compassion, for wisdom, for courage, honour, love and truth. And it comes from here, it comes from here. Anyway, next week, um, I wanted to do it this week. I'm going to update you more on our, uh, on our boys case as well. Um, I'm not going anywhere. As I said, I started out two and a half years ago. Our fight for justice was behind closed doors. It was just letting the whole people in the country know what happened to our boys because it's not an isolated case. And it still goes on to this day. It still goes on. And that's why I came out to tell you so that it wouldn't happen to you. So you could see what was going on in the country that we live in, which isn't the country that I thought we lived in. You know, because we live in a bubble, don't we? We just get up, we go to work, we come home, we see to our kids and we do that every day. So we don't really notice what's going on in the surroundings around us. But I know now, unfortunately, I know now. So uh, my phone's going to go soon. Thank you again to everyone who's jumped on. Um, I will be on again next week. I won't be going anywhere um, and I, I won't be leaving you lot in the lurch. Um, at all never surrender 
um, and remember who you are. They don't want you to remember. They want you to lose who you are. They want you to lose your individual thought. Just remember. Thank you, everyone.